Okay, this is a normal distribution worksheet uh, dealing with an apparel company that makes leather pants and wanting to make the proper number of appropriate sized pants. First we'll deal with the female data where the female division took a random sample of 32 former customers to get their height data and try to get a representative sample of their customer base and here you have all the data. Now hopefully on your own you were able to go through, I didn't want to show this on the video, the actual calculations of finding the mean and the standard deviation. Um, technically we are finding the sample mean because we have a random sample of data here ends up being 65 and a half inches and this is the sample standard deviation rounded to one decimal place 3.0 um, we are going to use the sample mean and the sample standard deviation as approximations for the true population mean and population standard deviation mu and sigma um, the reason we do that is usually to save a whole lot of time. If you wanted the true population mean and population standard deviation, you would have to actually survey every single customer you've ever had, and that's not very practical. So we're going to assume these 32 former customers are representative of the majority of customers of this particular company. Okay, and now we're going to use the normal distribution table together with these facts to answer a few questions. Uh, we're going to also draw the appropriate curve. So the first question is what percent of female adults are taller than six feet, which is 72 inches. So we need a z-score. Um, we have z equals x minus mu over sigma. So in this case x is 72. 72 minus 65.5 over 3.0. Uh, if you put this in your calculator all at once, make sure you put the numerator in parentheses, otherwise you'll get an incorrect value. Um, but if you put it all in there, we get 1 point, excuse me, 2.17. And that's our z-score value. So if I draw my normal curve. Here's zero. 2.17 is way out to the right here. That's more than two standard deviations to the right. And we want to know what percent are actually taller than that value. So using the table, we look for 2.17 on the table, and the table always tells you to the left. So the amount of data to the left here is 0 0.9850. If I want to know to the right, which is going to be taller than in this case, I subtract the 0 0.9850 from 1, which gives me 0 0.0150, and then changing to a percentage, I get 1.50%. So only 1.5% of the clientele of this company is actually taller than 6 feet, according to the data. They're also going to figure out what percent of the female adults are shorter than 5 feet. So another z-score, this time we're using 60 inches, which is the equivalent of 5 feet. 60 minus 65.5 divided by 3.0, negative 1.83. So we draw our curve. Here's 0, negative 1.83 is pretty far to the left. And we want shorter than, which would also be to the left. So using the table in the book, I find that a z-score of negative 1.83 corresponds to an area of 0.0336. And that's actually the portion we want. We do want the portion that's to the left, that's shorter than 5 feet. So all we need to do is take the 0.0336, change it to a percentage, 3.36%. And then part C here asks us to find what percent of the female adults are between 60 and 72 inches tall. Well, those are really convenient numbers um, because we've already found z-scores for both 60 and 72. So if we draw our bell curve again, here's zero, we had negative 1.83 and we had positive 2.17 and we want between. 
So this is the area we're interested in. We talked about in some of the earlier videos, if you want the area between, you subtract the two values from the chart. I really don't have room to draw them on here, but we know those values were 0 0.0336 and 0 0.9850. So 0 0.9850 minus 0 0.0336 ends up being 0.9514 changing that to a percentage, 95.14% is our answer to that portion. And then we get to question three, which says because of the high cost of leather, the company has determined they cannot properly make leather pants in all sizes. They will only make pants for those women taller than the shortest 8% and shorter than the tallest 6% which female heights correspond to these values. Now first, this can sound a little confusing here, uh, taller than the shortest 8%. So we need to figure out what height corresponds to the shortest 8% cutoff. So this percentage, if you think how we've done these other problems before, we always end up with a percentage. So if you, this problem is actually asking us to work backwards. So 8%. If you change it back to a decimal, we get 0.08. And then if you think about how we've worked these other problems, uh, for instance, uh, this one right here, the 0.08 was actually the, or the 0.0336 was the number from the chart on the inside. So I'd actually be looking for 0.08 on the inside of the chart and seeing what z-score that corresponds. Now you're actually not going to find exactly 0.08 inside the chart. So you're looking for the closest thing to 0.08, and 0.0793 is the closest value I found inside the chart, and 0.0793 corresponds to a z-score of negative 1.41. And then we can use our z-score table with a z-value, excuse me, z-score formula with a z-value of negative 1.41, a mu value of 65.5 and a standard deviation or sigma value of 3.0. And what we could then find is x. Okay, so let me plug that in here for you. Negative 1.41 equals x minus 65.5 over 3.0. And so we'd be solving for x. So this is about as algebra intensive as this class gets. You know, you haven't had much algebra to deal with up to this point, but now you finally got some algebra. If you want to solve for x, you'd multiply both sides by 3, and then you would add 65 and a half. And after doing that and rounding to one decimal place, you get that x equals 61.3, and that would be inches. So this is the smallest height for which they'll want to make pants. 8% of the women will be smaller than 61.3 inches. But we also want to make only pants for those women that are shorter than the tallest 6%. So I need to find what this cutoff is. So it's a similar idea. Now, if you think about how this curve works, though, I'm wanting 6% out here to the right. Well, if you, the chart, remember, only gives you values to the left. So if I've got 6% out to the right, I really want 94% to be to the left. So I'm dealing with 94%, which has a decimal is 0.94. If I find 0.94 on the interior of the z-score table, the closest I can get is 0.9394, which corresponds to a z-score value of 1.55. So I set it up similar to how I did this one. 1.55 equals x minus 65.5 over 3.0 and solve for x. So multiply both sides by 3 and then add 65 and a half and you get that x is equal to 70.2 inches. So to answer the question of which female heights correspond to these values or another way to phrase it might be which female heights do they actually want to produce pants for and the answer would be between heights of 61.3 inches and 70.2 inches. It's not profitable apparently for them to make pants for women outside of those heights ranges. Okay, now we're going to move on to the male data. Again, I've already compiled what the 
mean value height is 68 and a half inches and the standard deviation height 3.3 inches. By the way, the fact that the standard deviation is larger for the male data means that the male heights are more spread out than the female heights. So there's a greater range in the different heights that the men would have than the women. But the problems are like exactly the same here. So if you were able to do the problems on the first page, you should also be able to do the problems on the second page. Basically, the only thing that's different is that we have different mean values and standard deviation value. So if I want what percent of male adults are taller than six feet, I need a z-score. Six feet is 72 inches, so 72 minus my mean value of 68 and a half divided by my standard deviation of 3.3 gives me a z-score of 1.06. And then I draw my standard bell curve. There's zero, 1.06 will be to the right, it's positive. And I want to know how many of them are taller than that. So I'm looking for this area over here. If I use the table, the z-score of 1.06 corresponds to an area of 0.8554. And I don't want this area. I want the area to the right. So I take the value of 1 and subtract 0.8554 to get 0.1446, change to a percentage, 14.46%. And then we deal with the shorter than 5 feet problem. 60 minus 68.5 over 3.3, which is negative 2.58. Draw my bell curve. Here's 0. Negative 2.58 would be way out here. And I want that area to the left, which is what the table tells me. If I find a z-score of negative 2.58, the interior area 0049, which is actually the value I want, because I want shorter than, so just change that to a decimal, or to a percentage, 0.49%. So not many of their male clientele are shorter than five feet. And then we have the between question again. So drawing our bell curve, zeros in the middle. The two values we're between are the two values we've already used. So we got a one z-score of negative 2.58, another z-score of 1.06, and I'm looking for the between value, so I shade this portion. Again, I don't really have room to draw the areas, but we know by now that we're to subtract those if I want between. So 0.8554 minus 0.0049 gives me 0 0.8505, change to a percentage, 85.05%. And then lastly, problem three here, is similar to the female data, just changed the percentage values, we're at 9% and 7%. So I want to find what the lowest 9% cutoff is. So if I change 9% to a decimal, it's 0 0.09. I'm looking for 0 0.09 on the interior of the z-score table. The closest thing I find is 0 0.0901, which goes with a z-score of negative 1.34. So I want negative 1.34 to equal x minus our mean value for the male data was 68 and a half, and our standard deviation was 3.3. So to figure out what x is, multiply both sides by 3.3 and add 68 and a half and we get x equals 64.1 inches and then I also want the pants to be shorter than the tallest 7 percent so I'm looking for what's that upper range of which 7 percent would be above remember the table only tells you to the left so if you want 7 percent to be above you need 93 percent to be below so I'm looking for 93 percent which is a decimal is 0.93 on the interior of the z-score table, the closest thing I can find to 0.93 is 0.9306, which goes with a z-score of 1.48. So 1.48 equals x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Multiply both sides by 3.3 and then add 68.5 to find out that x is 73.4 inches. 
So this company would only want to produce pants, leather pants in the metal division from heights of 64.1 inches to 73.4 inches. And there you have normal distribution.